enough corners in here. But good news, we'll get it all cleaned up. So just looking in all of these. See, it was it was the styrofoam and the coil that was bad last night. Yeah, we're gonna have to see right here and right here. This is gonna get you to your washable air filter, which may or may not have been cleaned full. So each little guide vein comes out uh, and each corner comes out. You just gotta be careful with all the little plastic bits. All right, here is the back of those uh, damper blades. These Mitsubishi cassettes are nice. You just want to unwire the damper motors from the box and then this whole piece comes out. Okay, so these sit in these gaps. So that is the air outlets. With that cover removed. Now we can kind of see a little bit better. And then you want to unwire Pretty much everything connected to this box including the wires to the outdoor unit and that'll get your electrical panel out of the way and that's going to free you up to drop your drain pan all right it's apart this is the drain pan and the, the beginning of the knock work and the air baffles looking pretty rough but up here so this is the condensate pump Right, that pumps out to there. That's just how these work. And the bottom of the coil, you can see has been sitting in some nonsense. So, oh, there's some pretty rough corners in here. But good news, we'll get it all cleaned up. So this is the Subco ZCA24. Uh, I only use these for the cassette. They say you can use it for a wall unit, but I prefer to just use the bag style. This thing is perfect for this job. So the easiest way to get this hung is on these brackets. Um, if it's mounted flush with the ceiling, then where that styrofoam was hanging will work. That's just a bigger hole, it's a little easier. Uh, you gotta kinda tension it to where there's enough of a gap to work, but it's close enough to catch the water. So uh, these are a little more difficult to work around than like the mini split high wall kits, but what are you gonna do? So we're gonna start with uh, a rinse, just get off what we can. Then we'll go in with some soap, let that dwell for a minute, rinse, see where we need to go. Uh, it may take more than one round of soap, it really just depends. Uh, and then once this is clean, we'll kind of let that drip and then we'll take some time and clean each of these parts individually. You can use hot water. You can use hot water. Makes it easy. All right, so we're just starting with a rinse. This is gonna give the soap something to stick to and anything that'll come off with this stage. We'll just get off. Viper coil cleaner. Oh. Here we get our first layer on.
really trying to push stuff through. Right, by going in the gaps of the coil rather than on the bars or the pipes of the coil. It's really where this can excels, it's the ability to push out the crap. So the key to using this thing is kind of pushing it out of your way while you work on one side and then push it out of your way while you work on the other side. Uh, it's not as easy as a high wall, you know, where you're just, the ladder stays in one place. This is 360 degrees. So to clean it, you really got to get on all different sides of this unit, but you got to just push it out of the way, spray on that side, go to the other side, push it out of the way. So. It just keeps dropping out particles. So as you can see from that rinse bucket, there was still plenty of stuff coming out. So this is round two of the coil cleaner, trying to just get all of that debris out of this coil. All right, <clears throat> we just put our second can of soap on there. So this is why we went back with more soap. You can see it's still very yellow. I know we still have quite a bit of particles coming out dirt and things like that so we're gonna give this soap uh, a few extra minutes to really settle in there the styrofoam is in my opinion the hardest part to clean but we're gonna get a rag and get in there with some cleaner try to get what we can uh, out of there but we're getting much cleaner but we weren't good enough after our first round so second can of soap all right let's okay we are approaching 10 gallons, but we are running clear for the first time now, so this coil is a little beat up, but we've gotten an outrageous amount of crap out of here, so it's going to run away. Here we got the drain pan, we're just going to... Oh yeah. Alright, we're getting all the parts cleaned up, it's a combination of uh, turbo tank and the hose. So everything's coming pretty clean, except for the styrofoam. Granted, it's way better, but the texture of the styrofoam makes it very difficult to get this out of here. I mean, it's 
this piece of red tip bandits for a second just to show you how difficult this is to actually get out of here. All right, everything's back in from washing outside. Before it goes up, I am gonna give it just a little surface cleaner. That's gonna make sure everything's like shiny. Sometimes this dries weird. Um, this is getting much better. The styrofoam, mega pain in the butt, but a bleach solution uh, helped to get really a lot of it out. Right. Yeah, it's time for the put back. Plates are going back up. 